These are the nozzles for the 6.4 Ford. Uh, I'll show you how to do this. First, what you want to do is take a, your injector and put it in a vise like so. Uh, and the injector body itself, there's two grooves. Uh, this vise just happens to line up perfectly with that. Um, what you want to do next is take a, we have a dental tool here, and we just whittle the carbon away from the injector tip itself. Like so. Take a razor blade. Get in between the crush washer and, and the retaining nut itself. Work it around. Kind of wiggle it up and down here so you can get that little bit of room there. To get it to a certain point, you should be able to put your fingers and nails underneath there and just wiggle it back and forth to get it going. And like so, it will come off. So this is the ceiling washer here you're taking off. Now that's off, you want to take your dental tool again and wipe away all this corrosion that's built in that corrosion, but soot basically that's building up in there so that once you crack this retaining nut loose, it'll come off there fairly easy for you. It's probably the most important part is just take your time here and just really make sure that it's nice and clean. Then you need a 15 16 wrench. Put it on there. Give it a little turn. Hit it with a rubber mallet. Turn. Hit it again. Turn. What I actually do is sometimes I come back with it, tighten it back up. But basically, after every move, you want to hit it with your hammer to knock that back down. What happens in the inside of here, there's a spring that's pushing this up and all the soot is getting caught in between here and the actual nozzle itself and it's trying to push it up. There's two pins in there that hold the nozzle straight and if you don't hit it like this it'll come up and it'll you'll break end up breaking those pins off. is your friend here. Just take it nice and easy. You don't need to rush it. When you rush it, that's when you get into issues. And once you start to get to a certain distance, you can actually start to see the nozzle moving itself. And you'll start seeing all that soot and stuff come up through there. So again I'm going to tighten it back up here a little bit. Okay. Now 
itself is starting to move. You can see that there. It's a good sign. To get to a certain point, you can actually take this and just push down on the nozzle itself and spin the nut. You'll be able to tell if it's catching. And every now and then, you can take and let it loose and pop it back up and down like that. And it is loose. See, it's completely loose there. So now, what I need to do is take it out of the vise and go over to the bench, and you can take it all apart. And then you just take it apart, you change out your nozzle, put it back together the same way it comes apart, really easy.